if I was going to give Rick one of my favorite new golf jokes, but I don't think I'm going to have the time. So I guess I have to catch him later. There are three things that I want to just say on behalf of not just the people who are current members or past members, but for everyone who's relatively new to the club. I love that Mike says fear becomes a regular thing that you become used to fear. But I would almost argue with that because what I think about Toastmasters is when you do something often enough, when you do something that scares you often enough, and the feared outcome, whatever you think is going to happen that makes you afraid of public speaking doesn't happen, you suddenly realize that it's not so scary anymore. And one thing that I've really appreciated the whole time I've been a part of this club is that it is a very safe space. We have people from all different countries, people who speak all different languages as their first language, people who come from all different states and have all different kinds of beliefs, and they get to come here and express ideas and practice a skill set that really all of us should have in our daily lives, not just at work. And we really try to build each other up and make each other feel better about that skill. The second thing I really want to say is this applies not just in Toastmasters, but this applies to every time you public speak. And I would hope that this makes people feel less afraid. When you get up to speak, the people listening to you want you to succeed. They want you to do well. They don't want you to bomb. They don't want you to forget your lines. You know, they, they don't want things to go badly for you. And so if anything, every time you get up to public speak, you have a, a support system of people that just want your success and want you to, to give a good speech. And the last thing that I just wanted to say is the whole purpose of Toastmasters, yes, it's to work on public speaking, but at the base of that, at the heart of that, it's really about building your sense of confidence and self-worth. I've met so many people, whether it's from when I was competing in speech back in high school or in college or coaching, or even now I, I judge speech tournaments and I see high school students and you just see the students that feel like they do really well and how they carry themselves versus the kids that don't place every week at a tournament. And this carries into our adult lives. If we don't feel like we're good at public speaking, or if we don't feel like we can communicate our thoughts and ideas clearly and well to groups of people like we want to, it changes the way that we feel about ourselves because we project what other people are gonna think about us. And we hope that this group is something that really allows you to build that sense of confidence and that you feel like you have the support system of people who only want that best for you. So I hope that that makes everyone feel good and confident and just that this is a really cool place where people just, just want you to do well. We just want you to be happy and be confident. So, Christy, I'll hand this back to you. Okay,